Greetings, Vince Daniels here. This is Flowblade 1.6 on Ubuntu 16. I'm going to show you a quick, uh, quick way to uh, extract a target file. So just drag the media down and roll the mouse back. And you'll see that it compresses the file size, or rather the timeline. Roll the mouse up and it extends it. Now, uh, Flowblade has a number of hotkeys, so you can slide the video wherever you want, and then hit X to mark or to cut the location, <clears throat> and use the arrow key to advance forward one frame, or use the mouse and X. So now we have we have two cuts, one, two. And if you use the arrow key up one, it jumps to the cut. One more cut, and then arrow key back, and it jumps back and forth. Now, in order to render a video with Flowblade, you have to use the marker. So in this case, it's I and O. So let me undo the cuts. You can see there's no cuts now. I'm just going to I and O it. So I for my first. My first marker and O for my next marker, and now I can render. Uh, user defined type MP2. I'll call this. Uh, well, let's see if it works. Demo. Uh, and marked range. There it is. And let's get the. There's our video that we're going to render. It's going to go onto the desktop called Demo Movie MP3 or MPG. Uh, I can set my codex here and now I click render. And there it is. Now, Flowblade doesn't say that the file is completed or anything like that. So we'll go to the desktop and find it, which is right here, movie test, and open with VLC. And you'll see that the uh, audio works, everything works, and we are good to go. Sorry, that was the first one. Ha ha ha. Let's try that again. There's demo movie. And here it is. Audio works. And we are good. So that's Flowblade 1.6 and how to render just pieces of a movie out as individual chunks. Uh, very handy. Again, you have to use the markers. Uh, the marked range and the marks are here. Mark in, mark out, I and O. All right, thanks for watching and happy computing.